All right, go now. I feel like I can do anything because running is really tough. So if I feel like I can run forever, then I feel like I can do anything. Even convince a 125 year old institution to embrace its first ever electric school bus. We would run a lot in the streets next to all the cars and all the dirty air. And one day I seen it affecting some of my runners. And as a captain, I was like, oh, well, I want to help them. I want to help them have a better future. That intuition igniting a movement. The South Mountain High School cross country team stamina tested, enduring monthly marathon board meetings, submitting countless public comments, all the while pounding the pavement, practicing their breathing while inhaling the pollution. These teens partnering with their coach and the environmental advocacy group CHISPA to help drive the change. This wasn't about uh, a luxury or, or just something that the kids wanted. It was about their health. The Phoenix Union High School District has about 67 buses. About half of them are diesel. The other half, propane. In 2017, the district passed a bond with the intent of replacing some of the aging fleet. The South Mountain Cross Country students made the bold request that those replacement buses be electric. We believe that our students are deserving of us as a district to look at every option that's available to ensure that we are providing clean and sustainable transportation services. But clean comes at a cost. In fact, an electric school bus costs three times that of a traditional diesel bus. So Phoenix looked to the Twin River School District in Sacramento, where they currently have 25 electric buses dispatched with a projected savings of $115,000 per bus over its lifetime, saving approximately 80% on fuel and 80% on maintenance. Governing board member Stanford Prescott believes the investment is worthwhile for two reasons. One, any funding that we save on uh, fuel costs, maintenance costs, or other costs, that's money that we can put directly back into the classroom. The second reason is that ultimately, it's our responsibility to be good stewards of the environment for our students. Given that, the Phoenix School Board approved the purchase of the district's first electric school bus, scheduled to arrive in the fall. When they announced it, I started to cry because I was like so happy. Woo! Phoenix Union leading the charge, hoping other Arizona school districts and municipalities follow suit. It's like a, the, the beginning of a movement. We're hoping to influence other districts and just start, start that change.